I started my first appeal in 2006. This is 2017. How long does it take? As of now, he's been waiting 11 years for his VA benefits. And tonight, veterans and senators are calling for action. Yeah, as you saw there, Kevin Rader sitting down with a veteran. That veteran used to be in charge of veterans' affairs for the entire state, but now he finds himself sitting on the opposite side of the desk. Donald Peake Jr. served his country twice, in the military and then as head of the Indiana Department of Veterans Affairs during the Biden administration. He had no idea he would have to fight again at age 68. In my opinion, this is a nightmare. He suffered injury to both of his knees, which leaves him walking with a cane. I started my first appeal in 2006. This is 2017. How long does it take? He knew his appeal would be denied. He just had no idea how long it would take. But that's not all of it. He recalls a phone call he received. Did you know you had an appointment today? Uh, no, I didn't. What time's my appointment? At 12.30. Well, I look at the computer, and it says 12.39. One of the biggest things VA hospital tells everyone is, we have a tremendous no-show. We set appointments and the veterans just don't come in for whatever reason. The reason they don't come in is because they haven't been notified. Congress has been upset with the VA because of, all, because of the fact that they're not working quicker. So if we plug in the names and the veteran doesn't come, we've done our part and VA's done their part. Well, you can't go if you don't know. Exactly. Pete compares it to a ping pong match that's costing lives. I received this card uh, from somebody in my group. And basically, I give up all hope. He fears there are plenty other veterans out there like the man who wrote that card. That's an injustice. And that injustice has to stop. He's hoping that starts tomorrow. In Franklin, Kevin Rader, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Tomorrow, Senator Todd Young is expected to call for action as he presses the VA that's right here in Indianapolis on some of these long wait times. We'll be there and let you know what he says.